This is the first in a series of videos that help you build the skills you need to create robots that will do well in the annual first LEGO League Challenge. The hero of our story is Eva, the African gray parrot. She is smaller than some gray parrots because she's the Timna variety with white on her beak and less red on her tail. She talks and whistles a lot, but she's shy whenever someone else is in the room. She likes to play in her little house made from a cardboard box. Eva has several friends that you'll meet in future episodes. Eva also has a small friend called Eaglet. Eaglet also has a little house that he likes to visit. Because Eaglet is a baby, he can't fly. This makes him sad. Eva would like to cheer up Eaglet, so she has asked us to build him a robot. Let's start with a simple design called Driver Base 1. You'll find the steps to make the robot in the building instructions that are part of the Spike Prime software. Let's take a look at the robot we've built. The biggest piece is called the hub, which serves as the robot's brain. When we turn it over, we see two medium motors. A wheel is connected to each of the motors. The robot will use these motors to move around. We also notice that they are connected to holes called ports on each side of the hub, and that the ports are labeled C and D. But the C and D are really hard to read, so let's darken them with a pencil. At the back of the robot, there's a roll ball instead of more wheels. That will make it easier for the robot to turn when it wants to change where it's going. There's also a large motor, but Eva won't be using that until later. Eaglet would like to take a ride on his new robot. Because Eaglet has never ridden on a robot before, Eva is worried that Eaglet might slide off the top of the robot. So she asks us to keep Eaglet safe by adding rails. The rails make the robot look like a Roman chariot, so Eva decides to call it Chariot. Eva asks us to teach Eaglet's chariot how to give Eaglet a ride. To do so, we need to write a program for Chariot to make it a smart robot. We create a new program for the robot by clicking on the plus sign. Then we select word blocks and then create. We rename the program Eaglet's First Ride. The new program doesn't do anything yet, so we need to add program blocks to it, much like we add bricks to a Lego creation. We add a block that tells the robot that we've connected its motors to the middle sockets called ports C and D. We add a block that sets the movement speed to 50%, which is about half of full speed but that may be too fast for Eaglet at first, so let's change it to 25%. Chariot's wheels are 17 and a half centimeters around. That means each time the motor turns once around, so will the wheels, and the robot will move forward by 17 and a half centimeters. We use a block to tell that to the robot. We decide Eaglet's first short ride should be 20 centimeters, which is a little less than one foot. We add a block that says move straight for 10 centimeters, and then we change the 10 to 20. Let's read the program. When program starts, set movement motors to C and D. Set movement speed to 25%. Set one motor rotation to 17.5 centimeters moved. Move straight for 20 centimeters. But the program isn't in the robot yet. To fix this, we need to create a connection between our computer and Chariot. We can do that using either the charging cable or Bluetooth. Let's use Bluetooth, which is a way to send programs to the robot's hub using radio waves. We click on the little diagram of the hub that has a flashing red light. Then we click on Connect via Bluetooth. 
We see instructions on the screen that tell us to turn on the hub by pressing the big white button. Once the robot is on, we follow the next step and touch the small button in the upper right corner of the hub, which causes it to flash blue. After a while, the computer finds the hub and allows us to click on connect. When the connection is complete, the computer returns to the screen showing the programming blocks. We click on the zero that looks like a rectangle, which turns it into a big zero. We then click the download icon to transfer the new program to the memory location zero on the robot. You can tell this is happening because of the little dots on the yellow circle and because the robot beeps when the download is complete. Let's see if the program in Eaglet's Chariot actually works. We select the program in location zero by pressing the button to the right of the big button and then we press the big button to start the program. Yes! Eaglet got a short ride. Eaglet asked Eva for a longer ride. Eva asked us to change the 20 centimeters to 60 centimeters, which is about two feet. We could give the distance in inches, but let's leave it in centimeters. Just because we changed the program doesn't put the change in the robot. To update the robot, we click on the zero and then the download icon like we did before. Let's see if our changes give Eaglet a longer ride. Yes, it does. Eaglet tells Eva that going straight was okay, but not very exciting. He asks if he could take a curved ride. Eva turns the challenge over to us. We decide to add the curved ride to the straight ride, so we add another move block and then click on the word straight and rotate the direction to the left. We also change the 10 centimeters to 30 centimeters. Now we download the change program. Let's see what happens. Hmm, chariot turned in place rather than giving Eaglet a curved ride. Let's try changing the direction to left 30. Now we download again. Let's see if the change solves the problem. That's more like it. It looks like Eaglet agrees. We've seen how to program the chariot robot to give Eaglet a short ride, a longer ride, and a long curved ride. Eaglet is happy but isn't satisfied. He has asked Eva to give him a ride to his house. That will require making Eaglet's chariot a smarter robot, which will be our next project. Meanwhile, you should try programming a robot to go a certain number of centimeters or inches, maybe some combination of straight and curved like we did.